Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another episode of the Nashville Predators franchise mode. I'm not going to lie, I'm really excited to do this, but at the same time, I'm getting really frustrated with this team. However, after looking at our resources, it's I think it's possible for us to be able to get another uh, another first round pick. It's not going to be an early one. Let's just let, let's just go ahead and throw that idea out the window, right? Um, but you know, if we're looking here, looking at our rookie skaters, because this is where we have value, right? A Conanen, a Conanen. I don't know who was letting me say Iko I Iconen, but I don't know. Anyways, uh, he is 22 with 61 overall probably not going to make it and him and evan evangelista these two are the ones that i'm looking to move i believe uh low top six it's probably not going to become much and he's t he's really too old like i i hate having to say that at 22 that you're too old but you're just he's probably not going to make it so uh with that in mind it looks like we're going to be able to uh we're going to be able to trade for a first round pick which will be nice it will be very nice Sorry guys, my dog was in the background there, um, but it'll be it'll be nice to be able to do that. But we gotta hope that this team can can right the ship and try to turn it around here uh, as we try to push towards the playoffs. So still have a lot of simulation to go. Um, so you know while we're simulating here, I just want to go ahead and remind you all: please leave a like, leave a comment, you know, subscribe, do all that stuff, guys. I would really appreciate it. It's free, you know. Uh, it does nothing but you know tell me that you guys like this stuff and you guys want to see more. So I would really appreciate it. Anyways. Uh, moving back to the team, 21, 20, and 1. Ah, boy, can we get, you know, we're going on a little, or we're having a solid month. We're having a solid month. Um, and as I say that, we lose, because, you know, of course we do. Um, but we can we can still do well this month. Okay, well, you know, these last couple of weeks are really going to decide it, aren't they? And like all things in life, it's going to be 50-50. I say all things in life. There's a lot of things in life that are not 50-50. Oh my god, please. At least get us back to 500. A shootout loss. Lovely. And a loss. 23. Oh my god. We could still get into the playoffs. That's the thing. You know, maybe we buy... Well, I don't really want to buy big. I'm going to be honest. Why do we have such a huge all-star break? Like, this is the all-star month, my guy. God dang. What what is that from Wednesday to Wednesday? That's four or three weeks. Yeah, that's three weeks. Jesus Christ! For something that's normally just a weekend, I wouldn't expect there to be a three week gap. Come on, boys, pick it up. We need some wins. Oh my lord! All right, come on, big month here, big month. Come on. Okay, there we go. Start it off right. Start it off right. Come on, we're still in this. We're still in this playoff hunt. We gotta, sh we gotta win these games. Though. We gotta win these divisional games. These are the big ones. Mm okay. Oh man, to God, we need, we need to beat Pittsburgh and Philadelphia here. At least Philadelphia. Come on, please, for the love of God, we beat, no we did not beat them. And I think it might just be time that we are out of the postseason. Fifty-five points. We need, we gotta make up twelve points. You know, I'm not. I'm definitely not buying, you know, um, I'm not buying a superstar here. There's no reason to. We're going to keep our current trade block, so hopefully that does not edit the lines. I can't remember if it does or not, but we will find out, won't we? Come on, can I edit the deadline? Thank you. Um, so let's see, you know, let's see what's out there. What could we get? A team like Boston, their Western Conference, excuse me. They're an Eastern Conference team, so that means that uh, you know we won't have to deal. We wouldn't have to deal with them until the finals. You know they they're a they're a team that we won't have to play very often, which is nice because that means that thing you know this trade, if it were to bite us, wouldn't bite us as hard as if I did it to Colorado essentially. Um, oh no, I need Ricky Skaters still. I'm an idiot. Let's see here, uh, Steen, because you know. Oscar Steen is just a staple of any good franchise mode AHL team. He just, he is, you know. Um, we'll offer this. Oh my! Can I? Can I? Please, please, for the love of God, can I just thank you? Just to be rejected. All that to be rejected. 
Man, that sounds like my dating life being summed up. <laughs> uh, got it. We'll offer a third round pick with it. Okay, they don't really want to do that. What if I offered a second round pick with it? Uh, okay, yeah, that's cool. It's not at all like I was trying to. Uh, fourth and a fifth as well. Would that move the needle for you? Accepted. There we go. So we were able to get a first round pick this year. That that's big. I think that will be uh, that'll be really nice. You know, let's see if there's anybody else we could potentially work out a deal with. Uh, Calgary. They're a buyer. They weren't doing too hot the last time we checked these. Uh, but they only have seconds. Oh man. Who has a first? Come on. You know what? Maybe. Maybe a team like Chicago we could talk to about thirds. You know, third round picks because. Now we have two, two first, a second, and two thirds. You know, maybe we start to look for, uh, for some other things. Maybe we look for, you know, a couple thirds. You know, here or there. Uh, Geno and Carrier, I would be down to trade. Rejected. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we have enough to really make another move here. I think that we're just gonna call that a trade deadline. Like, I don't really have anything else that we can trade. You know, it, there's nothing else really looks like it's it's going to be worth it to me to trade. This roster is already awful. You know, maybe I wonder goalies. Um, yeah, Rinich has no value. So we're just going to call that there. That's, you know, that was our, our trade deadline. That, that was it, unfortunately. Is it going to come on now? It's going to take a couple minutes, so I hope you all got comfortable. Um, if we miss the playoffs, so I mean, it's not that big of a deal, uh, but I don't want to fully commit to a rebuild because I think that we could still be competitive with this roster. I really do. Um, or with the with the current pieces to the roster, let me put it that way. We're going to need some some things added through uh, through both the draft and free agency, but but you know the, that's going to come. It, it is. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. It re-edited the lines. Okay. I guess I will be back with y'all in a minute. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So one of the things I was looking at is that, you know, is, is the waiver thing. Because at the end of the day, you know, if you don't have to go through waivers, I am more than willing to send you down. And I think Cody Glass is going to be the guy that we send down here uh, to help out this AHL team. Because, you know, if we're going to commit to a rebuild, uh, then, you know, let's let's commit. You know, like I don't want to, I don't want to have um, I'm trying to think of a, an appropriate way to say this. Oh, Lord. I'm trying not to half behind this, you know. Um, but for the NHL lines, Eli Tolvanen, he definitely is. He's an 84. He's earned a call up, you know. Uh, I don't think that, like, I think that that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you know, we'll even, we'll put, we'll put stall there. The only other thing I am thinking about doing is potentially putting Granlund up, or Kunin up here. You know what? I think I'm going to do it because, you know, give him a plus five. Let Kunin try to grow. He is 24 after all. Um, and Mikkel Granlund and Johansson, they're solid. They're good, but they still they have time to grow. They're still going to need to be worked on a bit. And you know what? For the playoffs, we might even throw... Uh, we might even throw... What is his name? Um... Eli Tolvanen down there. So that'll be inter interesting to watch for sure. Uh, is there anybody who doesn't fit like well here at all? There we go. I like that. I like that. There we go. We get a plus one. We have Cody Glass, the, the two-way forward, the playmaker in Tomasino, and the sniper in Marchenko. Perfect. So, with all of that done, you know, we, I guess we're just we're gonna have to go ahead and just continue pushing on, because at the end of the day, this this Predators team season is probably done. If we're being honest, uh, this this one probably gonna be a shorter episode. You know, maybe only 15 minutes or so. So, uh, you know, let's see how we end up. Can the boys right the ship at all? Try to go on a run? I don't know. Maybe? No. Yeah, no. No way.
just uh, just enjoy the the suckitude, I guess. You know, I really did want to compete this year, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Man, 28 wins on the season this far. Probably going to hit like 35. Ah, no, not 35. What am I saying? 31, 32, something like that. AHL regular season is complete. If they make it past this uh, this opening round, I will more than or I will be more than happy to drop uh, Tolvanen down there. Sixty-eight points. That is tied for the worst in the league. Interesting. Okay, well now we're in a position I never thought we'd be in. Are they still... Are they in it? Um, no, they're out. Okay. Uh, but now we're in a position I never thought we'd be in. That's for sure. You know, we talked about it. We talked about uh, Logan Cooley was the target that we had in mind. And, you know, I, I like him. You know, he's, he's high top six. I really do like him. Um, I think we might have to trade up for him, though. Maybe draft Brad Lambert. You know, maybe that's the move here. We take Lambert. Uh, we take Cooley as well. Uh, maybe we try to even get in there and get Casey. But we know there's quite a few elites in this range here. That's the big thing. Oh, Lord. Oh, my gosh, guys. Uh, yeah, we're going to draft that goalie for sure. Chubarov, we can get a chubby. Wisniewski. That sounded strange, the way I phrased that. I apologize. Javon Clark. NHL ready already. Oh, jeez. Projected to go at 10. Like we, If we could just get as many top 10 picks as possible this year, that will be, that'll be the goal. You know, uh, Henrik could be interesting. Sullivan could be interesting. Um, I don't know. We're definitely going to walk away from this draft with a lot of pieces. Let me say that much. No gems or busts from the looks, or no gems from the looks of things. So, with that all in mind, I will. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one when we take the off season over. Whenever we take, Jesus Christ, when we take our predators into the off season. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out and good bye.